Hi, this is Gail, and welcome. I thought I would share with you some things that I have made in the last couple of days, and uh, see what you think, and then also perhaps show you the process, and so you can try it if you like. And I've been using my jelly plate. Don't look, Lori. I know it looks awful. Lori made me this. Um, but it really works, and it's fine. I haven't cleaned it off yet because I want to do some of the same and that gringiness that you get off of uh, a jelly plate like that is sometimes really cool and gives a lot of depth and layers. Okay, so what I've been experimenting with is putting um, alcohol inks on my jelly plate and then picking them up with acrylic paint. And I saw that on Southern Gal Designs with Tiffany. So let me show you some of the ones that I've done. Now, these are all on photo paper, but not the shiny side, the back side. Okay? Now, this one I did the alcohol inks and I picked up with a white paint and I forgot about the reverse lettering so yeah but that's okay and that's okay this one I feel was the best of all of them and again this was before I thought about the reverse lettering but this one picked up really well, except for here. And that part stuck on the plate, and I couldn't get it up. Took a while to get it off. But that's really uh, cool. Then there was this one, which you can tell. I used lavender paint to pick it up, and it just pretty much overwhelmed a lot of the alcohol ink colors. So that one's not as good either. Then I tried a different technique, and this one I saw on the Jelly Plate channel, and this was Carolyn Dube, and what she does, it, or Doobie, I'm not sure, anyhow, is on the plate, she puts down a couple of dots of acrylic paint, and then drops some alcohol ink in it, spreads it all around, and it gives sort of a cloudy ethereal look. So you get a little bit of the ink mixed in with a little bit of the paint. So that's kind of interesting. And this is the same process and you can see I really, even though I did rolling, you have to be careful because if it gets starts getting too dry or if you roll too much then it all will come up on your roller so trying to get that timing down it kind of you can see I didn't have it perfectly there because you can still see the bottom of the dots but it's all good I really like the coloring on that one this one when I had watched she had picked up with different colored paints so I tried black, and yeah, that was a lose. Didn't quite cut it, did it? The black overwhelmed, or maybe I just had too much black paint. You know, hard to know. So then, while I was letting my jelly plate dry enough to pick up the stuff, I did some spraying with some Glimmer Mist and any kind of spray that I had and this is just junk mail so you can see it's definitely got the shimmer just kind of playing with it this one I like the best because I'm working on doing um, spring mist which is Andrea at Artie Mays's kit and that will work perfectly this will too but it does have that dark blue there and a picture here, but it's okay. It was fun experimenting. <laughs> this one, wow. 
this color is sort of overwhelmed, as you can see here on the back. But it was fun playing. Then I have um, this stationery is going to be going in as part of the pages in the spring mist. And I just wanted little splashes, little touches of color on the pages because these will be writing pages. So you can see I did both sides just a little bit, not necessarily the same colors on either side. That, you know, the sprayers, you never know. This one's really light. That one was a bit much, but hey, that's what happens. You don't know. This was just a rub-off sheet. And this was my experimenting sheet to see, you know, what all my sprays looked like. And then I went down in the basement and found a bunch more that aren't even shown on here. So, you know, and this was just a roll-off sheet. But I save everything, so you can see this is some rolling off of cleaning up the um, jelly plate. So, yeah, so that's kind of where this is all at. But I thought you might enjoy seeing some of that and maybe playing along a little bit. And we'll give it a try, shall we? So, I have my jelly plate here. I think I can use this as a roll-off sheet. And I do have this mat underneath that helps. This is my photo paper. Someone had gifted me a bunch of photo paper. I didn't realize it has this on the back. Um, on the other paper, it, that was not there. But hey, it's okay. It'll just build up a layer, right? Okay, and let me get my inks. Now, I will caution you, with inks, you need to make sure you have really good ventilation, or you might regret it, okay? Uh, yeah, because it can overwhelm you. So, I'll do a little bit and then stop and do some other things and then come back. So, I'm not going to not going to do this forever. And I will say, too, that I think I waited too long and let it dry and stay on too much, and that's why I ended up with kind of a little mess, sort of, sometimes. So, I'm just going to play here, put down some ink, My faves over here in a row. I don't know that you want to know the colors. This is sailboat blue. Just scattering it around. The other one was wild plum. And This is ooh, botanical. And I do try to cover up pretty much everything. Oh, this is flamingo. Didn't use this last time. Okay. This is cool Perry, as in periwinkle. Okay. And now, this one is something citrus. Okay. Yeah. 
And I am trying to get the whole thing covered up. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out my butterscotch and I am going to do the lettering one first. Oopsie. And I have to remember it goes backwards. I'm going to put that down on here. Oh yeah, it's running. Where's my paper towel? Here we go. I got a bit much, as you can see. Always too much. And you can wear gloves if you prefer. So you don't get this all over yourself like I am. Okay. All right. Now, I am going to roll this across here to try to get it to lay down a little bit. And it also then brings it up on top of there. You can see I've got some mud going on. Not good. Okay. And I'm going to put my yellow kind of on top there. It's a little brighter and I'm hoping that will lighten it up. Now, I need to let that sit and dry. So I'm going to move it off over here to the side. Oopsie, I think I just moved that. Oh, I did. Doggone it. Well, we'll see what happens. I moved it. And so I'm just going to clean this off over here. I would not recommend using your heat gun with the alcohol links, although on the Tim Holtz uh, site that I watched today or yesterday, he said it's fine to use, but that was not using a jelly plate. You don't want to put any heat on your jelly plate. It's okay, he said, to use it if you're just using it on UPO paper or photo paper or what have you. Of course, they do recommend using UPO. And I don't have any right now. So I have ordered some. And we'll see how that goes, okay? So, I'm going to set these off to the side. And what I thought we could do in between while we're waiting for that to dry is perhaps do some more of the spraying and I want to use a paper towel to block the spray from getting on everything and Let's see here. Oh. Okay. I 
did such a good job of putting things away. Couldn't find what I was looking for. Okay, so I have quite the collection of sprays. And I'm looking to do something springy. So I do want to cover up my little window here because there we go I don't want to get it's all messed up so I can't use it and yep sorry the reach in the shadow I do have some tape here. Just a little bit. We'll tape it down. Like so. There, that should do it. Good enough. Okay, so now we'll get to spraying. And I'll just pull out some colors. I shake them up. These are, I don't know anymore who makes these. Um, the color is Glitter Mist Red, and it says Art C. So, there. I don't want a lot of that on here. Some on each side, right? Okay. And then... I have some Dilutions ones, but those are very intense, so I'm going to pass on those for right now. Here we go. This one is gold, and it's... There. Okay, that's gold. And let's see what else we have in here. This is green gold. Sorry, the shadow there is. Oh, I don't want to put too much more of that on. That could take over, I see. Let's see. Silver. Oh, that sounds kind of pretty. As long as it's not too dark. Definitely not too dark. You can barely see it. Mm. Okay. Let's see what else I have. Oh, those were dark ones, so I don't want those. More darkness. I just want to keep it light and airy. And even though on the outside they will have sometimes a color, yeah, can't really trust it, is what I have found that often they are definitely darker than what they appear. So... Yeah. Hmm. Let's see what I have in here I can use. Oh, I don't think I want that. That's like a gray or a black. That's more of the navy silver. Let's try this one. This one says Winter Bliss Blue. Okay. Not bad. Okay. Well, that looks kind of 
light and airy. So I think maybe we'll leave it at that. And we'll go over here. And I have this one that says wheat beer. Good old wheat beer. Let's see what color you really are, wheat beer. I'd say that looks like, hmm, not really wheat in my opinion, but hey, what do I know? Okay, this one, you see the color it's supposed to be fully purple. Well, fully purple, let's see how you do. Oh yeah, that's darker than I wanted for sure. Okay. What else? Here we go. This is peachy looking. Punked out steam. Well, okay. Kind of feeling like that might be good enough. What do you think? I think it's good enough for right now. So I'm going to put these out of the way for a minute. While I go back to... Yeah, that should work. Now, I'm going to set this off to the side. And I'm going to bring this back. And I have my paper ready. And I need to decide what paint I will use to pull off. the alcohol ink and I really feel like I got the best results with Titan Buff. Okay, so I'm going to shake that up and I'm going to do I want to make sure I have enough, but not too much. And now, and that sort of feels like too much, but I have so many different kinds of inks and things. more of that off. Okay. And here we go. Oh, I know what I was going to try. This time, I was going to try putting the plate to the paper instead of the other way around. But it's not easy. I just thought it might be easier to press it down that way, if that makes sense. I'm sure those of you who are experts at all this stuff are like, what is she doing? I'm playing. I'm having fun. And my method may not work perfectly, but hey, it's something. Okay. <clears throat> and the second, and then I'm going to pull. Excuse me, my nose. Michigan Sinuses. Okay, let's see what we have. 
Yeah, not good. Yeah, kind of didn't really. Didn't really do much, did it? I don't know. Maybe I waited too long. Oh, that's pleasant. That's a bunch of stuff falling. But it's okay. I got it. Sort of. Get those in a minute. I don't know. That wasn't really a success. I don't think I really left it on long enough, to be honest. So, I wonder if, yeah, I can't trust that. That's going to fall right off of that. Let's see if we could try it again and really push on those. Probably isn't going to work, but it's worth a try, right? And maybe the heat from the hands rubbing on the paper does something to help pull up. You know, I don't know. And I think we'll just Yeah. Didn't help any. But okay, some of this lusciousness may come up in the next pull, right? So I'm gonna set that up there. And let's try it again, shall we? And Oh, I almost used the wrong things. I was getting my sprays handy there. Not so good. Okay. So. <laughs> Too many things at once, huh? Okay. So. Let's just... Maybe not so much ink this time. Okay. And again, I'm not calling this a tutorial. I'm calling this just play. And so I'm sure some of you are far more talented at this and know more about what to do than me. So hey-ho, good for you. I am totally just playing. To see what happens, that's all. Okay. So this time, I think I want to use the purple for the letters and see how that works out. So, maybe what I should do is sort of smush it around first. Letters and numbers upside down on here. So 
smush it down. And and now I'm gonna smear that around some. Okay, we're just going to leave that. I'm not going to try to move it this time. I'm just going to leave it there. And let's see what I can spray. Do something different. <laughs> I don't want to spray that. I know. Let's find a tag here. These are really big tags. Let's do one. And let's do a little design on it, shall we? So, this is Glimmer Mist Copper. Why not? see what that does and this is dark purple copper some oh I like that sort of line these up Okay, I think I got some of that on my pajama pants. <laughs> oh, lordy, lordy. Okay, wheat beer. Little bit of that. that up a little bit. What do we think? Huh? It's different. And again, we're just playing. This is putting on a layer of background to which we'll do some things. I'm going to pull this off because it looks like it's about dry. And... I am going to put this here and this here and oops flatten that out a little bit. It's a pain that I have so little space because it means I have to keep moving things off and around and whatever, but that's life. Okay. And you never know, might be something in my rub off paper that I can use. Oh, there we go. For something. Collage of some sort. You never know. Okay, so there's that. 
And there's that up here. And I'm going to try this now. I'm not going to put as much white on. Try not to. And I don't think there's as much this time, so that's probably a good thing. And this time. I'm going to bring the paper to the plate. Sorry, but something about the thumbs pushing on it, I swear, it helps it to have better contact. Okay, are we ready to reveal? Leave it for a second, see what we get. Well, we got better color, for sure, this time. You can see just a little bit of the numbers. It's kind of pretty. Okay. All right, let's try the other method, because it's getting a little alcoholic in here. Yeah, mm -hmm. So the other method, the one that Carolyn did, was you put down some paint dots, and then you put a little bit of ink. Ooh. Uh-oh, that was the wrong ink. I did it again. Well, we'll see how that works, huh? Knew I was going to do that eventually. Well, I don't know what that will do to anything, but we'll find out. Okay. Here's butterscotch up there. Not down near that purple mess. And to clean that up, let's put purple alcohol ink and see what happens. I have no idea what that's all going to do mixed together. But we will find out, won't we? Okay. And, yeah, let's do lima green. Okay, 
And then, how about a blue? This is stream. So yellow, green, blue, and purple. And let's see how this does. Different method. Okay. Start with the light up here. I'd like to get rid of that circle there. Okay, and now we're down here. I don't want that to take all of the color, take over all of the color, I should say. Okay, so I'm going to put that right in the center. And we'll see what happens with that. the squeaky photo paper. You know, doesn't it make sense that you would use the shiny side, the actual photo paper, photo paper? But I know way back when I first started doing alcohol inks, I think I tried it, and it doesn't work. Okay. Okay, leave it for a second. Yeah, I think I kind of have to stop after this one because that ink is powerful. And I do mean powerful. It's a bit overwhelming, to say the least. So, yeah. I think I have to call it quits. Whew. Indeed. Alrighty. Shall we reveal? Let's see if we got anything good. Yeah, the one in the middle, that's it. Yeah, that's kind of good. Probably the most color that we've gotten. Well, this one has a lot, but this has a variety. And you can see the difference in the colors. So not bad overall, not bad. Um, it's different. Really different. But kind of fun. I do like this one. I will use these. I'll turn them into tags and... They may just be a background for other lusciousness. So, and here's how my plate looks. So you can see the next uh, thing that I put on here should clean it off. And I am thinking 
that I kind of want to do that right now and maybe I will use a pink acrylic paint. What's wrong with this? This hasn't even been opened yet. Well, let's christen this. Okay. Oh, this is neon lights. Ooh, fluorescent. Maybe we don't want to use that one. <laughs> Okay, so no, not using that one. Here's a lavender. Yeah, let's go with lavender. I don't know if that's enough, but we'll give that a whirl. Yeah, that's plenty. I think that could have been part of my problem with some of the pickups. Too much. Well, this maybe isn't enough. They're at the top. We're not quite... Yeah. Now it's probably too much again. I'm so good at doing that. Okay. So, just for fun, let's put this down. like more than one tag to me, but oh well. didn't think I'd get a lot from that, but it's all good. Okay. There's that, which of course I might have messed up. So let's go ahead and put it on the same side, because this is probably not going to be anything. I'll have to put other layers on it for sure. Okay. Yeah, not a lot came up. Got too dry, didn't it? Well, let's just put some of that good old Titan buff down then. I have to move faster.
Okay. Try again. Third time is a charm, right? One thing I will say, when you use deli paper, it's so much easier. That just about pulls everything off because it just clings to the jelly plate so well. Okay. Weep. So it's over here to dry. That's better. It's getting some of the crusties too. As Paula used to say. I miss Paula. Okay, that turned out okay. Yeah, that's got some of the color on it, too. So, that's okay. We can use this for sure. Mm-hmm. Good deal. Well, so, shall we review what we got? We got this. And, let's see. We have... These three. And we sprayed and got that. And we sprayed. And we have this and this. So some, some good, some okay. Okay, so that's just normal. I did get a little bit, I think, of the alcohol inks in the background, but not a ton. But, okay, so that was it for today. Just a little play to see what we could do with the jelly plate and alcohol inks. And then some spraying to keep us busy in between drying time. So get out there and create, make some art, have some fun, focus on joy, and until next time, stay safe, stay happy, and stay healthy. Please, bye-bye.